Hello everyone, this is the third video of the Angry Guide. It is about non-technical interview and it will cover how to prepare to non-technical interview questions that were asked me on the interview, how I answered them and my tips. First of all, I would like to say uh, the answers uh, to those questions are based on uh, my perception about these questions. There is no such uh, wrong or right uh, in the answers to uh, non-technical uh, interview questions. My opinion uh, could be different and the other person's uh, opinion uh, could be completely different than mine. But the most important thing is to be honest while answering the questions. Be honest, don't tell a lie. Be yourself. By doing it, uh, by being a genuine you, you will impress them. Let's start and I will cover all 14 uh, questions that were given to me. Okay, the first question. How did you know about the program? Questions like this are mainly to see if the program promotions and advertisements are effective or not. Uh, they use various tools like social media, seminars, the university website and more uh, to promote the uh, program. They also want to know uh, how interested uh, you are in the program. So uh, did you come across to the program randomly or you are uh, interested in the in the university or uh, the program uh, were you looking for something like this for me uh, i actually found uh, this university through my friends uh, when i traveled to netherlands uh, she was uh, doing her master here i visited the university and got the experience from the first hand my friend shared her uh, insight about the education system here and i was impressed by uh, the uh, student environment here. That's when I decided uh, to study here uh, would be a great fit for me. So you can create your own story to make a good impression. The second question is, what is your weakest point personally? This question is really tricky. You have to be honest about your weaknesses, but also uh, show they won't um, hold you back. They just want to know if you are aware of them. There are people out there who have no clue about their own flaws. It is tough to work them. They don't like feedback. Uh, they don't want to work on themselves. They can really mess up the team's goal. Uh, so it is good to know yourself uh, but when you talk about your weaknesses, try to strike a balance. Um, let me give you an example about me. I am a very stressful person, very, very stressful. But I don't let it uh, to control me and uh, stop me to grow. I can handle it. You have to show this. I have weaknesses, but I can control them. Okay, the third question is strongest points. What is your strongest points personally? Um, you have to show how aware of you yourself. Uh, are you exaggerating or are you telling about the truth? Uh, this question is the same like weak points. For example, being attentive, uh, being a good listener or being reliable uh, could be a good strong point. You can answer uh, like this. My strongest point uh, is my attention to detail. Uh, I can notice little things and ensure everything is in order. It helps me stay organized and deliver high uh, quality work. Additionally, I am a good listener. It helps me to listen to the people attentively and uh, understand their perspective and collaborate them effectively. Finally, I am a reliable team player. I show up uh, on time, meet deadlines, so other um, support my colleagues uh, when they need me. First question, uh, what is your hobbies? Um, your work in the office, your success, your technical knowledge, your skills, uh, of course, important um, for uh, the employer. But uh, you have to know, they hire people, human, 
not robots. It is good to have people with uh, different tastes in the work environment. It means a new color, new taste, a new character. That's why this question is asked. Uh, if you can combine your hobby with your skills, uh, this answer will be the best. For example, one of my hobbies is photography. Um, I love capturing moments and exploring different uh, perspectives through uh, my camera lens. Uh, it helps me to develop uh, an eye for uh, detail and uh, composition, which also comes in handy in my attention uh, to detail at work. Another hobby of mine is uh, playing guitar. It helps me, it teaches me uh, to be uh, patient, uh, to be disciplined. You see, we connected skills and hobbies like uh, attention to details, um, creativity to uh, being uh, patient or um, being disciplined. The fifth question is how would your best friend describe you? Interviewer ask these questions uh, because they want to see your personality. It is not technical interview. Uh, it is about your character, about your personality, not your uh, technical skills. Um, avoid lying and mispresenting. Interviewers have already uh, known about your capabilities. Uh, they want to know. Um, your character, your personality. So it is a good chance to talk about your personality. The sixth question is, what do your co-workers think of you? All right, let's break it down in more casual way. Uh, so make a list of your awesome uh, qualities and how they relate to work. Uh, we're talking about uh, good stuff here. So focus on only positive. Uh, traits. Uh, pick some suitable adjectives uh, that are all about those soft skills and make you an amazing candidate. Think about your um, skills and your daily tasks. Uh, figure out which of your characteristics uh, help you ace your work. Now match these descriptive words to the actions like uh, uh, it can help you explain to the interviewer how your personality leads to the success uh, in their workplace. Uh, show them why you are perfect candidate for them. The seventh question is, do you want to work in a team or alone? Very, very, very tricky question. Employers ask this question to figure out if you are uh, into uh, solo work or being a part of a team. Both of them has pros and cons. When they ask, make sure talk about the upsides and downsides of each. Just remember, saying I like to work alone or I like to work uh, in team separately, I mean not both of them, is not uh, the ideal uh, answer. That's why they are going to ask you this uh, kind of questions. Uh, so you have to uh, cover uh, advantages and disadvantages of both uh, working style. Uh, I mean uh, solo work and teamwork. The ninth question is how do you cope with the stressful situation? I will talk about my tricks to deal with stressful situation and maybe you can take them as a base. First of all, uh, I make sure to take a deep breath and try to calm down, uh, step back from the situation. It helps me to clear my head and get some perspective. It is like uh, removing cloud around my head. I break the big task into smaller tasks manageable tasks. It keeps me from feeling overwhelmed. Secondly, I go out, uh, walk uh, around and get fresh air or uh, bike into the nature. Then I start to feel comfortable and uh, I can focus on work, focus on my tasks instead of uh, focusing uh, on uh, stress.
Tenth question. Why do you feel you are the most suitable candidate? When answering this question, it is important to provide a thoughtful and well-reasoned response. I prepared an answer for you. I believe I am the most suitable candidate because I have a strong combination of relevant skills and experience for this role. I have, count your specific skills and qualifications, I have these specific skills, qualifications that directly align with the requirements of the position. Additionally, my previous experience in uh, mention relevant experience has provided me with the knowledge and expertise needed to this role. I am a quick learner, adaptable person. Furthermore, I am highly motivated and genuinely passionate about, uh, for example, design competences, um, which I believe it will make me a successful software engineer, for example. I don't say use it as it was, you can change it and uh, make your own story uh, by using it. For example, you can uh, mention your uh, skills and qualifications uh, here. Also, you can mention your experience and by doing it, you will make it your own story. We are on the 11th question. Where do you see yourself in five years? When answering this question, it is important to provide a realistic but ambitious response. I heard some people say, um, in five days, I see me in your place. <laughs> Don't uh, say this kind of things. Of course, you can be boss in five in five years. It is okay. It could be. It is possible. You have to... Uh, provide a realistic answer. Your answer uh, demonstrates your motivation, your ambition uh, should be realistic and it should cover your long-term goal. My answer was like, I want to be a skillful, experienced and very knowledgeable software eng engineer. It is my dream. Yes, it is real. It is my real answer. Uh, in two years, I will finish this program. Yes, I think I can be accepted to the program. I think I am the good candidate for your program. I try to give this message. Yes, in two years I will finish this program. Then I want to start a software engineer in medium-sized company because I uh, will get proper uh, knowledge and experience from the program. Uh, and I will gain a more experience in that medium-sized company. After that, I will work in a big tech company. I am very ambitious about my career. In five years, I want to capture a leading position uh, in competitive environment. Short and genuine. Question number 12. What will you do after you finish the program? To answer this question, apply these steps. Express your real interest for the program. Discuss your career goal and how completing the program will contribute uh, to reach that goal. Highlight specific skills, knowledge and experiences you expect to gain that will be valuable in your desired career path. Emphasize how that skills and knowledge uh, will make you a competitive con candidate in the job market. Mention potential opportunities you can uh, consider. Uh, discuss how your contribution uh, impact uh, on industry uh, in long term. And that's it. Certain so question is, why do you want to study at this university? This question is really easy. If you do your research, you can easily answer them. First, do research uh, about the university. Uh, you can do it uh, on the university's Instagram page, university's uh, website, any of them. Uh, but mostly prefer university's uh, website. Uh, also, you can find um, some important things which is not uh, shared on a website, but it is shared on social media. So, look all of them. Last but not least. The question number 14. 
Why do you want to join an NGD program? It is also a very simple question. Again, do your research on the website of the program. Go to the website, collect which features of the program attract you most. Why do they attract you? How can they help you? Collect all this information and connect them with your learning goal, with your career goal. Talk about that connection and it will be enough to express your interest about the program. That is all about the non-technical interview. I noted all questions after the interview so you can easily prepare uh, to HR interview with these questions. Next two videos will be about the technical interview, uh, presentation, recommendation forms and video interview. To be informed about these videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on notifications. You can ask everything which you are curious about in the comment section. See you in the next video. Goodbye.